Scott, not the, not the game you're looking for. It must have brought back some bad memories from last June. Yeah, we try to forget about last June, but uh, they, you know they seem to have our number. I think they've beaten us uh, the last four to five games to play them. Any common denominator there? You know, I, I thought it was a tight game. They took it to us, obviously, in the second half. We had a hard time scoring. Um, I thought both teams played played well. Both teams hustled. They fortunately for them got more. Unfortunately for us, got more goals than we did. I think the shots were about even, and uh, the ball's fine in the back of the net. You know, it's it's we didn't lose for lack of effort. And uh, you know it's it's uh, times like these where guys got to stay together, not start getting on each other's back. Um, you know, we're ten and three. If you told me at the beginning of the year, after thirteen games, we're going to be ten and three, I'd be really happy. I would take that any day. So we're still in a good position. We just got to move forward and learn from mistakes. Coach, you got off to a good start, four to one, to close out the first period. Um, how much did the penalties affect you guys going into the duration of the game? Well, that moment in time it helped them tremendously. Got them back in the game, and the lead, and then went back and forth for uh, you know a couple quarters. And uh, unfortunately, we took some penalties there, some questionable ones, and uh, this seemed to take away the flow of the game. I thought it was just too many easy penalties being called in the first half. One word to uh, describe your team's performance. One word. Yes. One word to describe my team's performance tonight. Yes, sir. Um, I have a hard time with that. Pardon? I, I would say that the guys battled hard. Um, I'd say that we had a pretty good effort. We just fell short. Second half, John, they just seemed like they knocked, took the energy out of the building and kept everything quiet, uh, which works to your betterment because when you guys are going, the crowd's going, that's obviously... Yeah, definitely, you know, the, the disappointing part of the game is when I saw people starting to leave with about three, four minutes. You know, that doesn't happen very often in Buffalo. And uh, when you see that happen in your own arena, it's definitely, you know, it's not encouraging. So uh, I, I, I felt that, and it was kind of felt like, like it brought up last June, it just kind of were deflated, and they were just gaining momentum as the game progressed. And I felt that in the second half. How did you think Chase did in his return? I thought he did really well. He looked good. He looked light on his feet, strong, and uh, he got a couple goals for us. And he didn't move. The, he moved well. He obviously hasn't played in a year, so he's still a bit rusty. Coach, oh, sorry. Coach, what uh, adjustments were you comfortable with into the second half? Well, whatever we did didn't work offensively, so we didn't adjust properly. But uh, we tried. We tried to shoot more on the run and carry ball over the top. And um, you know, to no avail. Unfortunately, we you know missed the net or dropped passes. We just were not in sync for some, whatever reason. So, what's to learn from uh, this year? Well, we need to be sharper. <laughs> you know, like sometimes you can make adjustments and it just doesn't happen. And uh, you know, the adjustments were to get the ball low and carry over the top and put pressure on their defense. And it seemed like it was the opposite effect. So, what's to learn? Is you know you got to do the little things right, you know, and which they, which we, I thought we did. We battled hard, and sometimes when you battle, it's just not good enough. You know that team there is a very gritty team, and you know they they they, they fought tooth and nail the entire game. And I, and I got to give kudos to my guys. I know the score was a difference of five, but it was a closer game than it was in the scoreboard. Coach, did you like how your team responded to the physical aspects of tonight's game? Um. Well, it's nice when guys stick up for each other, for sure. And you know, I thought that, you know they're 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 a physical team, and it was nice seeing guys um, you know stand up for this uh, for themselves or stand up for teammates, which like Steve Perillo did a great job, and uh, Macaulay fought somebody too, and I thought that we had some big hits like Dane was hitting guys, Josh hit guys, you know I thought the guys stood up for themselves and for their teammates, and that's what's expected on our team. And did you guys work on the? You guys had a shorthanded goal tonight. Were you guys working on that in practice this week? Um, we don't spend a lot of time on, on that. It's, it's very difficult to score four on five when it's a settled situation. Most shorthanded goals are scored in transition, so I'm not going to spend apples of time in practice. We don't practice very often. So we dropped little plays that we've thrown over and over again. Um, that specific play was just guys, you know, Buchanan cutting. I'd love to take credit as a coach, but he, that's just him cutting, being smart, a great pass, great goal. Yeah. Um, coach, uh, this is more of a compliment. Um, you've done a great job with this organization. You've done a great job with this team. And, uh, you know, you guys fought really hard with this team. You know, you guys, you know, we thought, you know, we thought we were going to win, but surprise was on their side. And then we, we had a great game. Oh, thank you. 
now. I thought, I thought you know, 13 8 guys were disappointed, coaching staff was disappointed. People have to understand that, you know, it's two tough teams playing lacrosse. It's a tough right. game to score sometimes. And uh, we can over, some of the, you can win a game 10 9 and everything's rosy. Everything's great. Defense is great. Offense is great. There's no issues. And you can lose a game 10 9 and everything's wrong. You know, it just happens to be that you scored one extra goal. You know, today, unfortunately, it was five. But, uh, but that's very uncharacteristic of our team to lose by five goals. Yeah. So I trust that the guys are going to look themselves in the mirror yes. and not point fingers and just get better for the next game. Right. Yeah. John, San Diego sound pretty good about now walking outside? Well, weather-wise, yes, but they're a very good team, so we're, we're in tough. We have a very tough schedule, and uh, which we don't mind. But, uh, you know, San Diego is definitely a you know, championship-caliber team. They have... if one of the best offenses, if not the best offense. So we're in for a battle in San Diego. But yes, I'm looking forward to some warm weather. John, a uh, question for you. Uh, obviously, Colorado's the defending champions from last year. So it, could there have been a tendency to maybe look at the record overall, being coming in five and six maybe, possibly? As there, as you know, there's no gimme games in this league. Right? Well, the only time I, I noticed that was I looked at the record, and I was surprised that they were five and six. We're not looking at the record and go, oh, we're going to beat them. 100% that did not happen today. Okay. Thanks. So, what is like the team's pregame ritual before games? Like, prepared for games? Like, the team's pregame ritual? What do we do before a game? Like, the game of the, like, the, the game day? Yes. Uh, well, the way it works is we practice um, once a week, unfortunately, only once a week, and um, we um, make corrections from previous games, and we start preparing for the next next opponent and then game day we have a um, an hour practice and we start preparing for that team as well so that's what we do every game when do you guys uh, fly out to San Diego do you go like uh, the night before yeah, uh, we go the day before yes okay thanks coach it's nice go. seeing a lot of you people here you just gotta come more often it's nice to see people besides Bud <laughs> thanks for being here you don't